Hello Williams class. For your maths lesson today, we have our arithmetic up on the screen and it is as follows. Four times 10. What is a quarter of 20? What is 750 as a Roman numeral? What number is next in the sequence? 84, 77, 70, 63. Two times 12. 49 divided by seven. What is 15 centimetres in millimetres? 2,398 plus 3,401. 5,698 take away 1,363. 36 divided by 12. Go ahead and try these questions and we will go through the answers in the next slide. The answers to our arithmetic then are as follows. Four times 10 equals 40. What is a quarter of 20? Five. What is 750 as a Roman numeral? D, C, C, L. What number is next in the sequence? 84, 77, 70, 63, 56. Two times 12 equals 24. 49 divided by seven equals seven. What is 15 centimeters in millimeters? 150 millimeters. 2,398 plus 3,401 equals 5,799. 5,698 take away 1,363 equals 4,335. And lastly, 36 divided by 12 equals three. Our learning objective for today's lesson is, can I understand what a fraction is? So you're going to, by the end of the lesson, be able to explain what a fraction is, and you will also be able to define what a fraction is. Let's have a little bit of a recap on our fraction knowledge. The numerator is the top part of a number and it shows how many parts we have. So that is this number over here. Then we have the denominator. Now that is the bottom part of a number and it shows how many equal parts the whole is divided into. Unit fraction is when the numerator is one. So that is the number at the top. And a non-unit fraction is a fraction with a numerator other than one. So it's any other number except for one, such as three, or maybe even five. Have a little think to yourselves, what is a fraction? A fraction shows us a certain amount of parts of a whole. What we do, first of all, is count how many parts we have in total. This will be our denominator. So how many parts has this shape been divided into? One, two, three, four, and five. So our denominator would be five. Then we see how many have been shaded. This will be our numerator. How many triangles has been shaded? How many triangles have been shaded? just one. So the numerator would be one, as you can see. So this fraction now shows us one part of five total parts. One triangle has been shaded, one out of five in total. So it is one out of five. Your turn. You are going to write fractions for these three shapes. Off you go. So let's go through our answers to see if we have the same answer. So for this first shape here, I'm going to see how many have been shaded. So that's one, two, and three. So that's my numerator, three. And how many parts do I have in total? One, two, three, four, five. So that is five in total. So the fraction would be three out of five. The next shape, I'm going to see how many have been shaded. One, two, three, like that. And then how many do I have in total? One, two, three, four. So my fraction would be three out of four. This shape over here, we're going to see how much has been shaded. One, two, three, 
four. So four is our numerator. And how many um, parts do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our fraction would be four out of seven. Here we are given the fraction. Now we need to read it correctly to then shade in the correct amount of parts. So looking at this fraction, five out of six, show me how you would shade this in to show that fraction. Off you go. So if this was me, I would shade in five parts out of that whole, um, out of the six parts, because it says in the numerator, the numerator tells us that we have to shade in five. So I'm going to begin. One, just like that. That's two. That is three. That is four. And that is five. So now my drawing shows five out of six because five out of the six parts have now been colored in. Your turn, shade the shapes correctly. Your first fraction is five out of eight and your second fraction is one out of six. Off you go, give it a go. Right, let's do this together. So if you look at the first shape, it says here to shade in five out of eight of those slices. So I'm going to start by doing that. That's one, two, three, four, and five. So I've colored in five out of the eight parts. So that now shows my fraction correctly. And the next one is one out of six. So I need to just shade in one part out of the six parts that we have, just like that. And that now shows the fraction one out of six because one has been shaded in. Now, your next task is to write a definition for each of the following, numerator and denominator. Off you go. Have a little think and let's do this together then. So I'm going to start off by writing the word that I am defining. So numerator, I'm going to underline it. I wish I had a ruler, I would have used that. Um, so the numerator is the number at the top of the fraction and that tells us, I'm going to write this tells me how many parts I need to shade in, full stop. So that is my numerator. This tells me how many parts I need to shade in. Denominator then, what is the denominator? I'm just going to write the title, denominator, I would say this tells me how many parts there are in total. Oh no, my L has gone a little bit skew there. It doesn't matter. Um, so that is uh, my two, those are my two definitions. Numerator tells me how many parts I need to shade in and the denominator tells me how many parts there are in total. Your next task is this one here, number two. Um, tick the shapes with one third shaded. So which one of these shapes or which of these shapes, there could be more than one answer, um, are one third of the way shaded. Take your answers. The ones that I would tick would be, let's, let's go through each one to see if it would be one third. So let's first remind ourselves or tell ourselves what one third means. Now one third means one out of three. So that is what we're looking for in these shapes. So if we go to part A, Let's work out what the fraction is. How many um, parts have been shaded? One. And how many parts are there in total? One, two, three, four. 
So this would not be ticked because this shows us one out of four, not one out of three. Let's look at B. How many parts are shaded? One. And how many parts are there all together? One, two, three. It would be three. So this would get ticked because that does show us an area, uh, not an area, it does show us uh, one third shaded. Don't be confused by the fact that those parts are differently sized. They're still, the shape is still divided into three parts as you can see. So just focus on how many parts it's divided into, not the size of them. Let's go on to C. What is the fraction for C? Have a look at the shape. It would be one out of three because one part has been shaded out of a possible three parts. So that would also be ticked. Part D, what would be the fraction for this shape? It would be one out of three because one has been shaded and there are three parts in total. So this one would also be ticked. Part E, what is the fraction for this shape? One out of three. So this would be ticked too. What about part F? What is the fraction here? Now this would be two out of three because there have been two parts that have been shaded out of a total of three. So that would not be ticked. What about G? How many parts have been shaded here? One, and what's the total? Four, so this would not be ticked because it's showing one out of four rather than one third. So in total then, the shapes that you should have ticked are B, C, D, and E. And lastly, you have to draw 2D shapes to match the description. One out of five are squares, two out of five are triangles, three out of five have more than three sides. So have a go at answering that question and then put your findings and drawings onto tapestry for me to see. That is all for your maths lesson for today, Williams class. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you very soon. 